to the NTSB right now on the scene in Midtown looking into how an MTA subway track worker was hit and killed by a train. Hilarion Joseph was doing his job near 34th Street Herald Square Station, but something went wrong and he was hit by a northbound D train and dragged. Just horrific. The MTA pausing all track work, at least for now. The Transit Workers Union calling it a tragic reminder of the extreme dangers of doing work on the tracks. Eyewitnesses reporter Darla Miles is live in downtown Brooklyn as the MTA and investigators work to find out how this happened. Darla? Shade and Bell, this has shaken tens of thousands of MTA workers to the core. These are MTA workers who are always routinely doing work on the tracks while trains are in use, and that union is headquartered here in downtown Brooklyn. Investigators are looking at every single thing with regard to why this accident happened, including whether or not Hilarion Joseph, his clothes may have been entrapped in a moving train, and that's how he was struck and dragged. It's very rare uh, and it's very hard. This is Hilarion Joseph, a 57 year old MTA flagger killed on the job, just one month shy of his one year anniversary with the agency. Whether he stumbled, we, we, we don't know, um, but obviously a flagger should, under any circumstance, shouldn't be coming into contact uh, with the train. Cell phone video shows emergency crews responding to the Northbound Express D train platform at the 34th Street Herald Square station just after midnight Wednesday. The 57 year old was part of a track work crew that was cleaning and collecting trash when he was struck and dragged by a slow moving train going about 10 miles an hour during scheduled maintenance. Our folks were at the hospital last night with the, uh, the worker's family and obviously they're very much in our thoughts right now. I just ask everyone here in the room, uh, my colleagues and, and the members of the public, just to join me in observing just a moment of silence um, in his memory. The deadly accident comes on the same day as an MTA committee meeting where board members observed a moment of silence in Joseph's memory as the investigation is ongoing. There are cameras at the station, but given where this occurred, which was down into the tunnel, uh, we're still looking to see whether or not those cameras would provide any, any relevant footage. Prior to this, the last time an MTA worker died on the job was in 2020, while evacuating a burning train during an arson fire. And before that, in 2018, a track worker killed after he fell and hit his head while cleaning up debris. We have an inherent risk in the job because we are on the tracks doing work on the live train traffic. It doesn't get more dangerous than that. Now, 57-year-old Hilarion Joseph called Brooklyn home. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Torres just spoke with his family, just sat down with them in Brownsville, and we will hear more from them about their response to this horrible tragedy coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6.